Fine. Um, you, uh, is it time for me to start or do you want me to wait? So ah, good. So you can start over, Larry. The, the stage okay. is all yours. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here, and uh, it's such an honor to have you here to speak to our uh, participants and uh, you know uh, the, the stalwarts and legends who are here. Uh, Dr. Anandas Amma Amma ji is also here with us right now. Maybe if we tilt the camera, you will be able to see her. But we have a hall packed with everybody. You can see Amma ji, you can, can. see Mother Bowen <laughs> sir, and Dr. Ilan Bowen sir there. Yes, right. All right for, uh, for all of you, I'd like to say something. Oh. Oh. Thank you so much for uh, me being with you, and um, I feel close with you. My teacher was in Chennai, so I spent six different years there, and I understand you wanted me to talk to you something about the lower back tonight. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. How long do I have? That's okay too. And yes. Uh, uh, just whatever it happens. Okay. And thank you for staying up because I know it is late night there. Oh, I'm a pretty late night person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can go on, Larry. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let me start with how this all began for me. Uh, before, I've been a yoga teacher for 40 years. But before that, I was an advertising executive in, in Los Angeles. And it was a type of business that, no matter how hard you worked, they always gave you more. So many people develop problems, you know. So I developed a low back problem, and then I developed a nervous twitch in my eyes. So my running partner, my exercise partner, said to me, have you ever been to a yoga class? Can you all hear me? Raise your hand, please. Can you hear me? Thank you. So my exercise partner said, why don't you come to a yoga class? So I had never been there, and when I went, I watched them warming up. And at that time, I was about 37. I'm now 75. And I said, ma'am, I cannot possibly do those exercises. And she was a kind older woman. She was a disciple of Indra Devi. How many of you have heard of Indra Devi? Mataji Indra Devi? OK. So, uh, she was a direct disciple of Krishna Macharya and Shivananda. So she said, just do what you can, and at the end you'll be surprised. So the class lasted for an hour, and at the end she gave a 15-minute Shavasana. And at the end of the Shavasana, all of my aches and pains in my back were gone. The twitch I had in my eyes was gone. And I had this feeling that something was very right, and I felt very good. So that I never looked back from that day because it changed my life, just that one class. So I developed a, um, found a teacher near me who was a disciple of Shivananda and Swami Vishnu Divananda. And so I studied with him, and then I decided that I wanted to take a sojourn and go around the world and just visit a lot of yoga teachers and healers. So I told my employer and they were kind enough to give me a one-year sabbatical. So while I was traveling, 
I had a press pass from Big Magazine, and I was doing interviews. So a guy from California with a press pass and doing interviews, and in India, hardly anybody turned me down. Um, so I got to meet a lot of people, and I went to the Theosoph uh, Theosophical Society. I went to meet uh, BKS Iyengar, and a funny thing happened when I was staying at the Theosophical Society. Uh, can you all understand me okay? Yes, can you yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. I was staying at the Theosophical Society and I met a man named Richard Miller, Dr. Miller, who started something called IREST, which is now international around Yoga Nidra. So he and I together started the International Association of Yoga Therapists right there in India at the Theosophical Society. And just recently we had the 30 year anniversary uh, in Newport Beach and we were both keynote speakers. So I wanted to meet a lot of people and so, so did Richard, so we could build our international organization. So Dr. Miller sends an email to BKS Iyengar. How many have heard of BKS Iyengar? Yes, raise your hand. Good, thank you. Richard Miller sent him a letter, a, an aerogram. And he said, sir, I am here from California. I'm visiting teachers. I, I'm observing other teachers. And um, so he said, I'd like to come and observe your class. So BKS Iyengar writes back, nobody observes my class. I'm only interested in serious students. I think you should go somewhere else. So I saw that letter and I wrote a new letter to BKF Iyengar and said, Dear Mr. Iyengar, I've come from California and I want to be at your feet. I want to be your student. I can you please take me? And so he wrote back, Oh yes, please come. <laughs> so it was a different attitude. So when I went to see him, he uh, had three different classes uh, a day uh, in the week. He had a level one, a level two, and he also had yoga therapy. So the level two class warmed up with standing drop over back bends. And so after the first day, I had to spend 30 minutes in the bathtub just to be able to walk because I was so sore. And I was with him, you know, for two weeks. And uh, so it was a, a great experience. He was very kind to me, and I learned a lot with him. And then I went on, and I had a chance to meet, uh, you know, Indra Devi was in India, and she took me to meet Sai Baba. How many have heard of Sai Baba? Can you raise your hand? Yes. So Indra Devi was, was uh, you know, raise some money for an orphanage. So Sai Baba was coming to rescue, uh, or excuse me, was coming to bless all these kids who were being rescued at the orphanage. So Indra Devi asked me to be her guest. So I sat in a little group of maybe 12 people, and outside the group you could look, for as far as you could see, was maybe 500 heads. Because wherever Sai Baba went, there was a lot of people. So I was sitting next to a general, uh, a three-star general and he had a neck brace on. So Sai Baba comes out with Indra Devi and she says, uh, Sai Baba, this is Dr. Larry Payne from California. And so I in the Namaste and, and then he turns to this man sitting next to me. He looks at his neck brace. He lifted his arm and shook his arm. So you can see there was nothing on his arm and he put his fingers down and shoved the booty out of his hand, into this man's hand. The man took the booty, put it on his tongue and his forehead, he took off his neck brace and he was healed. It happened right in front of me. So um, I, I went on to meet in a lot of other places at that time. And unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to visit your place in Portland, Cherry. But I went to the Kaibula Dong. I went to Yoga Institute of Santa Cruz. Uh, I went to the Yoga Kindra down in the... Uh, or the Vivekananda Yoga Kindra. So a lot of places. And then I found my teacher who was Deskachar. And uh, I, he was there with Krishivacharya. So Deskachar invited me to give 
a, uh, a uh, like a, a memorial blessing and a tribute to his father in America. So I agreed to do that, and Christian Macharya gave me a personal blessing. So I went to America, and I made, had this big tribute to him, and Deskachar came, Indra Devi came, all these people came. And uh, I made a DVD, which I think I may have given one to Dr. Meena. So anyway, with all this knowledge, I came home, and um, I started my own yoga center called Samatha. And after a few years, I partnered with a man who was a doctor that had a sports medicine institute where he had every kind of doctor there. He had neurologists, podiatrists, physical therapists, chiropractors, everybody was there. And so he invited me to start the first yoga therapy center in Los Angeles, which was really the first of its kind in the United States. So I was there for several years, and they did the very first story about yoga therapy in the yoga journal, uh, about our time there. And his place was full of celebrities all the time, big actresses, actors. And uh, so with I, when I learned there, I began to um, you know, work with other doctors and became an integrative approach to uh, yoga therapy. And I, I, you know, I believe in Ayurveda all the way, And uh, but in our courses we had that, but we also have this integrative approach because I want the students when they leave uh, our institution to be able to get a job with many people. So after doing these things, um, I, I started a clinic with Dr. Christopher Chapel, who is a, a dear friend of Dr. Anandaji. And uh, we called it the Yoga Therapy Rx. So we founded this program, and it's been almost 15 years. And we're hoping Dr. Nanaji will come next year to our program. But uh, this is, uh, we have 29 teachers, and we have uh, about 100 students uh, per semester, and it goes from October through August, so we're almost at the end of our term. And so what happened recently is that UCLA, which is a big school, uh, is starting the new Integrated Medicine Center. And so the, the director, the doctor, uh, Elizabeth Coe, the director, came to me and she asked me if I knew of a good low back routine. And I said, well, ma'am, you know, if it's yoga therapy, it, it's uh, it's one-on-one, -on -one and you, you can't just say you do this for everybody. It, it depends on the person. Larry? Uh, yes? I'm very sorry to interrupt you, but I would like yes. to introduce uh, our Vice Chancellor, Professor Parija, sir, who's right here listening to your talk. So, sir is right there. He's waving his hand. We take this moment to introduce and welcome uh, our Vice Chancellor of Sri Balaji Vidya Peet, Sri uh, Professor Subhash Chandra Parijadi, along with the organizing secretary of this convention, uh, Professor Dr. Karthi Kayan sir, and uh, our Asha Madam, who is like uh, the general secretary here, and she is also the deputy organizing secretary for this convention with Dr. Partha Nandi and Dr. Padmagati, who are all organizing team. So uh, just talk that I would interrupt you for a moment to welcome them. Yeah. Namaste, Namaskar, Namaskaram. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm not boring you. This is nothing new to you. <laughs> not at all, Larry. Please go on. We are really enjoying your talk. Thank you so much. So anyway, she said, uh, do you know of a good low back routine? And I said, well, man, but it's a very individual thing. And I said, I can narrow it down to categories and things like that. And then I thought more about it, and I talked to a couple of our uh, instructors. One of them you know, uh, Dr. Lori Rubenstein, who comes many times. Yes. And also Dr. Matthew Taylor, who's now doing some international work. And they both advised me that in physical therapy, they have a category called focus groups. So after somebody has worked with 
that physical therapist one-on-one, -on -one, then they can graduate to a group of people with the same problem. So I decided to do that for yoga therapy. So after someone has come to us with one of the many problems, uh, and they have worked with us one-on-one, -on -one, and as sort of the on-ramp to the freeway, we made this yoga therapy group. So ahead of time, I sent to you uh, the copy of the program I recommended for Dr. Ananda Balaji to, to show him what I uh, gave to the UCLA uh, school. So I want you to think about the concept of another way to use yoga therapy is with a focus group. So this could be for Parkinson's, could be for MS, um, it could be for low back, upper back, you know, knees, hips, joints, all those things. So that when someone uh, is, has been cleared by their yoga therapist or their doctor after one-on-one -on -one, and before they walk into one of these uh, yoga groups, regular yoga, there is this in-between stage. So that's something I want to bring to all of your attention. And I said uh, ahead of time the sheet that I I've been uh, that I gave for Dr. Namaji. Yes. Did you have your hand up here? Yes. Yes. Five minutes, huh? Okay. Because you told me to remind you. Please, thank you. So um, I want to give my five minutes to you. I mean, I've been talking away, and I also want you to know that when I went to India that the Indian families treated me so well and that I have a soft heart uh, for anybody from India, for the families, because I don't think there's any closer family than the Indian family. And uh, my mother is Italian and the Italians are pretty close, but uh, I think the Indian is the best. And so I had the privilege of having a direct teacher, TKV, Deskachar, A.G. Mohan, Indra Devi, and I'm very grateful for all of these teachers, and I'm grateful that over the last 40 years I've had a chance to spread some seeds in America from what you all taught me in India. So now any questions, I, I will try my best to answer. Uh, any of you have any questions you want to uh, ask him or your suggestions or something? You want to share something with him?